Hello, I'm Dr. Michael Robinson, Chief Academic Officer here in East Baton Rouge Parish School System. Well, we are back for another great week of work, teaching, and learning. Just a reminder that the ESS department and the ESL department are conducting, our students are taking tests um, through March the 18th. So we do ask that principals and teachers that you please make the appropriate accommodations to ensure that the testing uh, is a success. Just a reminder about scope and sequence uh, and that we are following the curricular expectations as all of this is connected to uh, our district assessment around ANET. Uh, it is important that teachers that you are using the dream box. We need five lessons. Uh, let's try to get to at least five lessons per week if we can. Uh, that's the goal. It's about roughly about 75 minutes um, if you when you look at it, but um, it is well worth it because we're seeing great gains and strides uh, with our scholars around the work that is being done in the classroom to help support um, and Dreambox is a supplemental support for, for you. Good morning East Baton Rouge Parish School System. This is Mr. Rico, the ESL Executive Director, and I'm coming to you guys to bring you all some great updates and some reminders. Right now, we are currently in the middle of the English Language Proficiency Test. All our English learners are currently taking this very important assessment that affects every single school's school performance score. We ask that you continue to encourage our students to come to school on time, get a great night rest, eat some great breakfast, and do their absolute best. Thank you to the many teachers who are continuously helping our students achieve great academic success. I know they're going to do a fantastic job. Please reach out to our department our website for further details if you need any other type of support or if you have any questions. I'd like to go ahead and give some great recognitions, please. I'd like to thank the Early Childhood Department for recently hosting a fantastic extravaganza at Glen Oaks Elementary School. A big shout out to Ms. Shonda Floyd and Mr. Adam Melendez for helping our EL parents go ahead and register for early childhood. Thank you so much to our many, many great faculty and staff for supporting our kids at an early age. Yo sé que ellos, nuestros bebés, van a hacer un excelente trabajo cuando vengan nuestras escuelas. Thank you guys so much, and we, have, we hope you have a great day and week. Good afternoon, EBR. I'm Justin Robichaud with the math department. We still have over 30 days remaining until the LEAP test. That's enough time to make some serious gains in your math classrooms. In order to do so, here are a few reminders. Please make sure you are monitoring your pacing as found on our EBR scope and sequence document and you are utilizing our LEAP bell ringers on a daily basis. Following both of these documents will help you ensure that your students are experiencing all of the standards in the major content that are found within the LEAP test. Use the LEAP bell ringers as opportunities to create spiral review for your students. If you feel like you need additional spiral review, maximize your time in the small group setting to assist students with specific standards of deficit. And as always, if you need assistance with this task, please feel free to reach out to our department. As for Dreambox, we wanted to send a huge shout out to Northeast High. The Vikings are averaging over 10 lessons per week in the month of February and compiling an average time of two hours and 21 minutes per student. From a usage rate, we have two schools with 100% usage in their schools. Congratulations to both White Hills and Marydale for this feat. We still have 34 schools that are averaging five lessons or more per week and 52 that are averaging an hour or more usage per student per week on Dreambox. As always, thank you for everything you do to make EBR a great place to learn and work. Have a great day. Greetings and happy Mardi Gras from the East Baton Rouge Parish School Science Department. Special thanks goes out to all of the schools that participated in the Math and Science Mambo Night. It was a success and it was great to see students and parents working together in the math and sciences and enjoying a little taste of Mardi Gras. 
Next week, upcoming in science, we will have our Sip and Share event. This is an optional event for any science teacher who would like to attend. The event will be held at the main library on Goodwood. Ms. Lindsay Douay is the spearhead for this activity. And if you go into Frontline, you can still register now. Once again, this is an optional opportunity and science teachers get to come together to share and collaborate on things that worked or didn't work for them during this school year. Principals, please remember to put in a science request form. If you use the request form that is for all curriculum and make sure that you select science, we will receive it and I'll be able to have our content trainers come out and visit your school. Thank you, have a wonderful week. Les les bon temps roule. Hi, my name is Kay Monso. I'm with the Gifted and Talented Office, and we have some exciting things coming up with our talented visual arts students. They have, they have many displays, and they will be having some exhibits that will be coming soon. Our talented art students in Ms. Gita Dave's talented visual art class at Glasgow Middle School are having a very unique art exhibit at the Shaw Center for the Arts. This exhibit, titled Mud and Mirrors, is an installation that features art techniques by Lapan Cam, which is a technique used by the Rabari community in Kuth, India. This installation will be on display through mid-March, where it will then travel to Tuscumbia, Alabama for a six-week showing at the Tennessee Valley Art Museum starting March 17th. Go by and check out this amazing artwork by our talented middle school students. Our talented art exhibits, which will display artwork from all levels of our talented visual art students, will be on display at the main library on Goodwood. The view and visit for our elementary will begin on March 7th, and that will be from 5 to 6.30 at the Goodwood Library. The view and visit for our high school students will begin on March 30th, from 5 to 6.30 as well. And the view and visit for our middle school students will begin on April 27th from 5 to 6.30. All of these displays will be open to the public. And again, they're at the Goodwood Library and they will all be, they'll have a reception of view and visit from 5 to 6.30 on the dates I mentioned, but they will be on display for the whole month. Come out and enjoy the amazing talent of our art students. Good morning, I'm Janet Harris with the ESS updates from the Exceptional Student Services Department. The ESS Department is excited to announce that the month of March is Transition Month. And during Transition Month for the district, the ESS Department will host a variety of activities to increase awareness in the importance that will shine on the importance and benefits of preparing our students with disabilities for post-secondary opportunities. So coming soon is the transition packet that will be disseminated from the Exceptional Student Services Department. That transition packet will include information for parents, teachers, and students on post-secondary opportunities. Again, the ESS Department would like to remind everyone that March 4th 2022 is the last day to submit any par parent permissions for initial or talented evaluations. Please get with your SBLC chairperson to ensure that these meetings are held before March 4th. Also teachers, we would like to remind you that each nine weeks period we request from our instructional support specialists ESS rosters. These ESS rosters contain pertinent information on our students in regard to their needs, behavioral, academic, and any other related services or support needs. It is so important that each area is completed on the ESS roster, as this assists us with staffing for next school year. The next submission date for ESS rosters will be March 14th. Please ensure that you're working with your instructional support specialist to get these documents completed. And that concludes all ESS updates for this week. 
Greetings from the Fine Arts Department in East Baton Rouge Parish. We are so excited this week because it's finally here. Our third annual East Baton Rouge Mass Gospel Choir will happen Friday night at 6.30 p.m. at the Independence Park Theater. Please come out and support all schools, teachers, students, and employees who will be singing praises from up above. Please be on the lookout for summer camps for fine arts. These intensive arts camps will center on all of the talents that kids possess in all areas of the arts. More information can be found on our website. Thank you and have a great day. Hello. We are coming to the end of our COVID learning loss professional development for this academic year. There are four sessions scheduled for the month of March. Beyond the month of March, there are no COVID learning loss professional developments scheduled. We are also in phase one of acquiring instructional materials for next school year. Please look forward to a survey coming your way. In this survey, we will try to capture number of students, number of teachers, resources that are currently being used on your campus, but more importantly, we will need to know who will be responsible for receiving those materials. It is our goal to improve the process from that which it was this year. So please look forward to a survey coming soon regarding phase one of acquiring instructional materials for next year. Thank you. Can you say gospel choir? I am excited and cannot wait until Friday, March the 4th. Um, I'm excited about the work that Mr. Joffreyan and the Arts Department is doing, and I am looking so forward to uh, the Gospel Choir. Leadership is very important, and so in order for us to be successful, um, the word for this week is open-minded, and it's really important, leaders, for you to be open-minded. I just want to remind everyone, and particularly our leaders, uh, guidance counselors, um, assistant principals, as well as deans, that the master scheduling process is underway. Uh, very new process, very exciting. We've made some changes from last year uh, to this year. And so we're gonna keep on refining it until we get it like a well-oiled machine. And I wanna thank you for your support. I know that it's a sacrifice. I know it's a little different. But I thank you, leaders, for being open-minded and supportive of the work that we're trying to do to support the vision of our superintendent as well as the vision for our district. Well, this is the end of what is recognized as Black History Month, but it is all of our history. And so when I think about people like Shirley Chisholm and Aretha Franklin, and um, Hattie McDaniel and Claudette Colvin and Frederick Douglass, Muhammad Ali, Dr. Dorothy Height, Carter G. Woodson and Annie Lee Cooper and the host of just so many who have paved the way for us to have the freedoms and the opportunities that we have in 2022. Thank you is simply not enough, but we do thank them for their efforts, for the work that they did, for, the, for everything that they did to help us to reach the milestones that many of us have reached. And to them, I say kudos and thank you. As always, teachers and principals, assistant principals, guidance counselors, deans. Thank you so much for allowing us into your classrooms, your offices, and your schools each week. We know that you have a lot to do, and we appreciate you taking time to review these videos, and we hope that they are meaningful to you. Have a great and fabulous week. <music>